So, a cashless society and data ownership. I think you already know my opinion about this one. I do think it's a very good idea to have a cashless society. I think it's a very, very, very terrible idea to do a cashless society with a single entity in control of our data. So, this could only work for individuals and communities and societies if you make it truly decentralized. So this will be a government test. We will actually start to see which governments in the world will actually start implementing cashless societies and which governments try to control their uh, citizens by creating uh, centralized money and which uh, governments will let the decentralized monies like Bitcoin let run loose. In other words, which governments trust their citizens and which ones don't. Um, I have some benefits and some, uh, some uh, downsides recorded of uh, pros of and cons of cashless society. I think it's a very important note to keep in mind that a cashless society might actually work and most likely, of course, will work since we're already moving towards digitalization. The main question here is, will you do it centralized? Will you do it decentralized? Will you do it in a form of a hybrid variant? That's all up, uh, up to you. My personal preferences lays with decentralized. I know that uh, Martijn uh, van der Linden, for example, is more of a hybrid variant. I've known persons that are more a fan of a centralized component. Let us know your, uh, your preferences. What we're going to do is we're going to interview several people and we're going to ex let them explain each of their opinions. And basically, we want to challenge you to form your own opinion and think about what it would mean for you, you personally, but also, of course, your children and your children's children. Because you can't compare current day situation. You're, we're currently building the infrastructure for the future. And if we build a wrong or a, a, a corruptible infrastructure, it can lead to very, very dangerous situations in the future. So challenge there. Let us know what you think and let us know where your preferences are. Um, I will upload as inspiration for the decentralized camp a Twitter feed of Ari David Paul uh, and further reading. And we will soon visit Martijn for his hybrid variant and we will try to get a grasp of somebody uh, daring to favor a centralized version in front of a camera. We will see in time whether we will manage to see it on that one. See you in the next session, Who Dare Threaten the Status Quo? where we start to introduce the different opportunities you now have.